The objective of the Vienna Convention and the Montreal Protocol is to protect the ozone layer. And the ozone layer protects us from the bad ultraviolet radiation. And what makes it unique is that we have actual results. We have prevented a very serious damage for our health and for our ecosystems. I think there are three ways that we have been working so far which made this uh, convention a successful one. One is the commitment of all countries. It's a convention that has universal ratification. The second is that we had the right science and a very good financial mechanism that assisted developing countries in meeting their commitments. Basically, you have the funding mechanism, which is one partner. You have also the implementing agencies, UNIDO, UNEP, World Bank. Um, you have also the scientific panels, which help parties in making the decisions, and most importantly, the governments. One is in terms of the environment itself. So we have scientific evidence today that the ozone hole, the known ozone hole to all of us, is shrinking, and the ozone layer will be healing within the middle of the century. We have actual phase out of chemicals, which means that we 90-80% of the chemicals that we have been using 30 years ago are now phased out. There is also scientific evidence that by 2030, 2 million cases of cancer every year will be avoided. There are estimates that say that if the Montreal Protocol was not in place, approximately $500 billion would have been spent. There is a final big achievement which relates to the climate change. The Montreal Protocol has mitigated 135 gigatons of CO2 emissions. The chemicals that we are now using are not depleting the ozone, but they are quite strong uh, greenhouse gases. So they add to the climate change problem. And the parties are discussing right now how they can address HFCs, which is this group of chemicals, how they can manage it in order to minimize the climate effects. The United Nations can bring together all these people that I have been discussing, the implementing agencies, the funding mechanism, the, um, the scientific community, and of course, the countries themselves, the governments. So it's very important to work closely with UNEP itself, with the UN system, with the other conventions like the UNFCCC, which deals with climate change, but also with other multilateral environmental agreements that have the same challenges. For